Hello there guys, this is Matthew the Dinosaur King and today I am back with another review. And today we will be taking a look at the brand new for 2018, the Schleich Oviraptor. Now Oviraptor, which today means Egg Thief, is a genus of Oviraptorid that lived in the late Cretaceous period around 70 million years ago in what is now modern day Mongolia. It was around 2 meters long, about 1 meters tall and around 30 kilograms in weight. And in in Mongolia, where it lived, it lived alongside many other types of fauna, including amphibians, mammals, crocodilians, pterosaurs, another species of dinosaur, including Pinacosaurus, Protoceratops, Sauronithides, and Velociraptor. Now, when Oviraptor was first discovered, it was first, first thought to be an egg stealer, as there were a bunch of eggs that were found alongside the original specimen which are thought to belong to Protoceratops. However, with many more Oviraptorids found since then, including many sitting on their, their eggs, we can safely assume that the Oviraptor that was found was probably nesting, protecting its eggs using its large wing wings to shield them from the desert winds. Now, for a feathered dinosaur from Schleich, I am very surprised. I mean, who would have thought we actually got a fully feathered dinosaur from Schleich? It is very well done. I like all the feathering detail. However, that doesn't mean it's a perfect figure. But, like always, let's take a look at the head sculpt first. So we do have a nice head sculpt, though it is rather bland. We have a yellow eye, as you can see. The inside of the tongue is painted red. You can see the, the little tooth up there at the top. That's about what's painted in there though. There's the yellow eye again, there's the nostrils, the crest. Now we don't know what the crest of Oviraptor looks like as the original specimen, the skull, is actually crushed. So we've had to infer from other species like Sitapati of what the skull, or well, what the crest might have looked like. And going down, we've got all these nice teal sort of feathers, form a little crest at the back and as they go all the way down. Going to this nicely feathered body, very nicely detailed. Going down to the tail, we've got this nice fan, which is in like this sort of dull brown, mixed in with sort of the grey. The arms are correctly positioned. We've got the large wing feathers, the large primaries and secondaries in there. See they're done there, on the other side. Got the very bird-like feet, which are small. And as you can see, it is a tripod figure, sadly. But, you know, it's not too big of a deal for me. I mean, it is a nice feathered dinosaur figure. So I guess it can be forgiven. It just would have been nice if it was, you know, a bit more raised up. You know, over tails were quite stiff. But aside from that, one of the big things for me about this figure is the colour. It's just... When I think of oviraptors or oviraptorids in general, I think of beautiful colours like reds and blues, yellows. Beautiful colours to in order to like attract a mate. But then again, this could be, I don't know, a female with like the dull sort of grey and teal and the brown on the, on the tail. It, it is a rather dull oviraptorid. And just to come oh, he's just she has just fallen over. See? So in order to compare it, here is Safari Limited's Anzu from this year. And as you can see, well, this, <laughs> this is the beautiful, beautiful male, and here is the very dull female. As you can see, it's, it's quite interesting to see how they both contrast, how they both differ from each other. Yeah, so um, if you haven't, haven't already checked out my Anzu uh, review, I will leave a link in the description box below. So please go and check that out. It's a beautiful figure. I highly recommend it. But yeah, for an Oviraptor figure, I have to say it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's not as amazing as it could be. I mean, there is a little bit of shrink wrapping in the skull around where the orbit is, where the eye and it could do with a lot more painting in the mouth and just overall all over the body. Although it does have some nice scales, as you can see, under the neck area and everything. And there is no cloaca, but that's to be expected from Schleich. But aside from that, 
I would definitely recommend it. It's, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a feathered dinosaur figure from Schleich. How often do we get them? Barely any. But, um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend it. You can pick it up from Everything Dinosaur, which I will also leave a link in the description box below. Please do go and check out their, their website. They have just actually got in the brand new Papo, Therizinosaurus, and Iguanodon, and the first five 2018 collector figures, the Iguanodon, Mantellosaurus, Ski Rumimus, Mapusaurus, and Dunkleosseus. So please go and check out the web their website. Brilliant, brilliant website. So um, I hope you like this review, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, my next review will be on the Schleich Sitakosaurus, so uh, look out for that very soon. And yeah, so I hope to see you guys in the next video, so please take care and have a great day. Bye.